Hi, I'm Randy Vance. Today we're in New Smyrna Beach near the Ponce Inlet. This is Edgewater's 262cc. Now this is built with Edgewater's exclusive SPI single piece infusion technology that perfectly balances the knitted cloth and the polyester resin to give you a uniform thickness hull that runs beautifully. We want to walk you through this boat and show you some of the special highlights, so come on aboard. Now when it comes down to the performance of this boat, there's one thing you need to know. The hull design gives you a complete waterline length. There's no step transom, so this 26-foot boat has the longest running surface of a 26 boat on the water, as far as I can tell you. Now Edgewater has specifically designed pockets into this running surface to accept the Sea Keeper ride system. Now the system is designed to control pitch and roll, 70 and 30 percent respectively, automatically with zero attention from you. Now it takes a little bit of getting used to, but you get the boat up on plane, you get it trimmed out, and just watch as the Sea Keeper ride finds that level position. It's going to continue to maintain that pitch and roll level even as water conditions and steering input changes. And the nice part about it is on the 262cc, that's a standard feature. Now the helm setup on this boat is ideal. First of all, it's extra wide. You've got a glass cockpit design with flush mounted garments here and a command link gauge here. So you're not wasting navigation real estate on your engine information. I like the flush buttons that toggle in and out. It's easy to clean up the dash after a day's fishing. Got a nice plexiglass top, a little pocket to keep your mobile phone, and up above, your VHF radio and your stereo control unit. But now here's a cool touch. Right here is the microphone, and you've got in this microphone a speaker here and a speaker there. Now I like the design of the integrated hard top windshield and the structure here. It's a very sleek design and it's sturdy. You've got five rocket launcher rod holders. You've got a net right above for keeping life jackets. You've got a terrific view forward through that acrylic windshield. Below the wheel, you've got your circuit breaker panel and your battery switches. You don't have to go diving under a console to get to them. That's really convenient. Now when you come back here, you've got an extra wide helm seat. These double wide seats all have flip down armrests, flip down bolsters, but down below, pull out the cooler, it slides forward so you can access your drinks without interrupting the action in the cockpit. Now it's hard for me to talk about a center console without getting right into the fishing amenities, but an awful lot of buyers are looking at these for go fast hardcore recreational boats. Still, this one's set up to fish. You've got a rigging station here, you've got a freshwater sink, you've got tackle storage down below, you've got a large live well here on the port side transom. Here's another thing I really like, you've got a pull out seat here. That way you can have relaxing seating, snap it away, and you've got a wide open fighting cockpit for bringing in your fish. Now you've got a transom door and a starboard side boarding door, so you have your choice for pulling the big fish on board. If you need to gaff them on the port side, you've got rod hangers and down below are tow rails so that you can tuck your toes on them and lean out and stick the fish with your gaff. Now the fish boxes are enormous and those are macerated overboard so at the end of the day you can clean them out quickly. There are more rod holders on board all the way up to midship and when you get to the bow you've got the Mate Series cup holder slash rod holders for bottom fishing. Now when you're bottom fishing, you're going to enjoy the windlass. I like the position of the anchor. While a lot of boat builders like to tuck it in the stem down below, when it's on a davit right there where you can see it, it's far easier to manage if you need to get your hands on it. Now we've talked a little bit about fishing up here, but right now the bow area is set up for relaxation. You can stow away those cushions and you've got a large casting deck. But with the cushions in place, you've got a huge sun pad. You've got thick combing boasters. My favorite bolster is this one right here. It lets a passenger sit leaning forward, looking back, joining the conversation in this area. Now look at the front of the console. You've got a double wide seat here, and here's the trick. Grab the latch there, and the whole console swings open like a James Bond bookcase, and down below you've got easy access to a flushing head and a freshwater sink. Another nice feature down below here is the easy access that you have to manage all of the electrical systems on board. The lower starboard hatch gives you access to the wiring harnesses. The lower port side hatch gives you access to the battery chargers. 
and the two upper hatches let you access the back of your electronics navigation systems. Now on both the starboard and the port side, you've got these large bulkheads here. You can see that there's a surface on top for keeping small gear cup holders, but underneath you've got a large storage drawer and a large storage compartment. But here's what I really like. Pull these rings and it unlatches the storage underneath the bow seats. It's easy, it's quick, and you're not fumbling around under seats and cushions to get to it. Now Edgewater's done a great job on this boat, making it durable and easy to maintain. All the rails are powder coated, as is the structure of the hard top. Also for easy maintenance, lift up the center hatch in the cockpit. A, you've got a dry storage box there, but lift it out and you've got roomy, generous access to all your pumps, filters, and plumbing down below. If you take a look at the cleats, they're probably the largest highly polished cleats we've seen on a boat this size. Here on the dive door, you've got enormous highly polished hinges and they're going to resist corrosion for decades. You've also got a dedicated ladder that works in conjunction with the boarding door. For a second boarding option, you've got a transom ladder that's right behind the transom door. As you walk through the 262cc, you're going to find a lot of features that you'll note are options on competitors, and they're standard here. In particular, the white motors are almost always an option on other boats, but Edgewater makes them standard. The 262cc is a lethal fishing boat with an ideal live well, plenty of fishing amenities, but you don't want to overlook the fact that this is a family fun machine with plenty of comfortable seating, bolsters all the way around, grab rails for safety, and I really do like the Seakeeper ride system. I gotta tell you, it works really well. I'm Randy Vance on Edgewater's 262cc.